Hi everyone, it's Tanya. I wanted to do a video to update you on my day's piercing. It's been almost three weeks since I had this done. I'm really here saying that I wish I could tell you that I've gone almost three weeks headache free, but unfortunately that's not the case. However, I do think that this piercing has helped me tremendously. Like I said before, I was waking up four to five days a week with a dull headache, mostly in the mornings. I was doing things like saline nose sprays before I went to bed and when I woke up, I was doing humidifiers, everything to try to keep moisture in the air. Um, I was even taking um, like ibuprofen or any other type of anti-inflammatory at night and it wasn't helping. So right now I'm not waking up with headaches, which is good. However, I ate a bowl of homemade chili the other day that I, you know, I got a recipe for it. I made it and then I put some fresh sour cream and chopped onions on top as a topping. Lo and behold, I woke up with a pretty massive headache that caused nausea and then some. So after three triptans, it finally went away and it took a couple of days. So what did I do? I tried the chili again after my headache went away. Same chili. This time I left off the sour cream and onions and I woke up and I was headache free. So I know that those two particular um, food items are something I'm not going to eat again. <laughs> Once you know what causes your headaches, you're going to try to avoid it. Um, so I still think that there's some food triggers for me. Maybe not as much as they were, but there's still some. So my advice to you is to, to go ahead and continue to... Um, to, to keep a diary and know what your triggers are, whether they're food triggers or stress, cigarettes, perfumes, um, stuff that you know that you can possibly avoid. Things we can't avoid are weather changes and you know other things, but um, stress, which I guess you can avoid stress. I think stress is a huge trigger. Um, and you know, maybe we'll be looking into different ways to relieve some stress. In an acute situation um, but for now I, I still think it's a good idea for me to get this piercing and I am probably going to get my other ear done as well within the next day or two because I kind of you know I, I do know that it helped and I want to see if this is going to make even a bigger Im impression or you know a bigger improvement for me so I'll keep you updated for those of you who are getting one I'm not here to say don't get one because I do think it works and I'll continue to keep you updated. Thanks for all the responses and the, the comments that I got on my, on my YouTube page. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.